Time now for News Extra, brought to you by Gehring Civic Center. And with our program, here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. We have uh, Carrie Mailing here and Donna Jenny. Donna is the uh, director and Carrie is the assistant director of uh, ESU 13's Head Start and early Head Start programs. So we're going to kind of educate you a little bit on this and uh, let you know how you can apply because that application period is coming up here pretty soon. So Donna, good morning and uh, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about the Head Start program if people aren't familiar with it. Okay, good morning. Um, the Head Start program is federally funded through the Department of Health and Human Services and is at no cost to qualifying applicants. Our program currently employs 80, employee, 80 staff members in communities across the Panhandle and the staff come with a wealth of knowledge and an estimate of over 250 years of um, experience, early childhood experience. We oversee the um, ESU 13 oversees the grant and has done so approximately for two years. But head, the Head Start program has been in the Panhandle for over 50 years. Um, we serve 316 children, of which 248 are preschool age, three to five, and 68 are um, prenatal to three years of age. All right. So uh, we're basically talking prenatal to five years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the reasons this program is so important, uh, first of all, it's uh, income-based. Am I right? That's correct. And then uh, mm -hmm. the other reason is uh, some of these kids, without a head start, wouldn't get that kind of jump they need to get ready for kindergarten, right? That's correct. The first five years are the most important. Um, in the panhandle with the Head Start being in it over 50 years, we've served over 8,000 children. That's fantastic. That's yeah. fantastic. All right, we'll get uh, Carrie in here to talk uh, about some of the services. Now, you guys are all over the panhandle, right? We are. Um, we have locations in the scottsbluff Gearing area, Bridgeport, Kimball, Sydney, and we also partner with public schools in Minotaur, Baird, Mitchell, Morrill, and with scottsbluff Bear Cub Preschool. So we do serve a lot of children in the panhandle. Um, we provide services, first and foremost, um, school readiness for the children. Um, we have uh, meals and snacks based on whatever option the children are, are enrolled in. And we also look at health. So we're looking at vision, dental, um, hearing. We're looking at social emotional development, cognitive and physical development of the children. And we individualize and we meet children where they're at. All right. And this program runs from early in the morning until... Right up till late in the afternoon, pretty much? Um, currently, we have some three-and-a-half-hour sessions, and we have some full-day sessions. So um, there's several different options. Yeah, options you can yep. you can do. So uh, pretty good. And uh, like you said, a lot of uh, different things. Uh, you provide screenings for vision, dental, hearing. The, the social thing is a big thing, really, when you're talking about, say, kids from three to five as they're looking – to get into uh, kindergarten and that? Yes, uh, social emotional development is really important as children are going on into kindergarten. We want to be sure that they're able to, um, you know, stay uh, attentive to whatever's going on in the classroom, get along with their friends. That's a huge thing um, for kindergarten readiness. So Yeah, and uh, even when you're looking at preschool, really. Absolutely. To be honest with you. Yep. Uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty important. Okay, we're going to take a break. We'll talk more about uh, Head Start and early Head Start right after this. Having food that is consistently great is something worth talking about. Great food makes a great event. That's why the Gearing Civic Center goes the extra mile to serve great meals at every event we host. Along with the caterers, the meat shop, we are a great partnership. Hosting events for over 23 years in our elegant, column-free ballroom, while never charging room rental if food is purchased. Visit GearingCivicCenter.com or call 436-6888. We are back on News Extra. We're talking about uh, ESU's Head Start and uh, early Head Start program with the uh, director and assistant director of those two programs, Donna Jenny and uh, Carrie Mailing. We've kind of been uh, talking about what Head Start is and so forth, and this is for... Uh, prenatal kids all the way up to five years old, kindergarten readiness, so to speak. Uh, head Start is ages three to five. Uh, early Head Start is uh, the kids before that age. So, Donna, 
What kind of services do you provide there? Okay, with our Early Head Start program, we start with the prenatal moms. We have a home-based program where we serve 20 families. Um, They can be prenatal moms up to age three. The home educator goes into the home on a weekly basis for an hour and a half and works with the parent and the child on developmentally appropriate practices and the comprehensive services covering health, nutrition, social services, behavior management, behavior guidance, um, and then supports the family and connecting them with the community. When they go into the home, they utilize materials that are in the home. So there's lots of things that you can do for like sorting and matching, you're doing laundry, you're sorting socks, things like that. Um, So they just really help them in the home get a great start in the home. We also, with Early Head Start, have a center-based program with five classrooms, 7.30 to 4.30, Monday through Friday, where we provide um, child care services with low ratios, a one to four four or less ratio in each classroom. Um, And with that, we provide the formula for the infants, the diapers, the wipes, like I said, the low adult ratios, and then individualization throughout the center. Okay, very good. And you got bus service as well if people um, need that, right? We provide bus services to some of our Head Start classrooms. We don't right. provide any transportation to our um, early Head early Start. Early Head Start. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got about a minute and a half uh, left real quick. Uh, some of the successes you've had, Carrie, and some of the people you collaborate with real quick. Okay, so we've had lots of successes. We work really um, hard with parents to help them achieve their goals. So some of those things that we've done is helping some teen parents complete their high school education. We work with parents who are going to college. Um, we, We look a lot at budgeting and financial goals even to help families to start a business or um, purchase their own home. So those are some great things that we've seen happen with our parents. Um, In order to enroll for the Head Start program, you can see us at 4215 Avenue I in Scotts Bluff at the ESU 13 building, um, or you can call 635-3696 to set up an appointment with a staff member who will assist you in completing an application. Um, At the time of application, we just need a copy of your child's birth certificate and all income coming into the home. All right. Very good, gals. All right. Thank you very much. We appreciate you for stopping in and... uh, Uh, Once again, this is a big uh, application time. So again, the number is 635-3696 if you've got questions. We uh, thank again Carrie Mailing and uh, Donna Jenny for being being here today. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.